Hey everyone, we now have another fun Buster Keaton movie. This time it's the classic 1924 silent comedy, Sherlock Jr. Now Buster Keaton plays a projectionist in a local movie theater who is studying to become a detective. He becomes engaged to his girlfriend, played by Catherine McGuire, but his rival, known as the Sheik, Lord Crane, Seals her father's watch and pawns it to buy her some candy. Now he play, plants a pawn ticket on the projectionist, and when it is discovered, the engagement is broken. Now the projectionist tries to shadow the sheik, but fails to discover anything. So dejected, he returns to the movie theater, where he falls asleep during a movie. In his dreams, the projectionist walks right into the movie, becoming Sherlock Jr. Now as he faces a similar case, here he is much more successful at solving the case and escaping the bad guys. Now to the best of my knowledge, Sherlock Jr. was Buster Keaton's third movie, following Three Ages and Our Hospitality. Now, with this movie, after about three audience previews, he had the movie whittled down to a length of about 45 minutes. Now, despite its relatively short length, I will very much admit to having enjoyed this one a lot. There were several sequences I really got a kick out of. One of them was the beginning of the dream, with Buster's character actually walking up to and jumping right into the action on screen. It was a lot of fun. Especially with the scenery changing while Buster stayed in the same spot. To me, now that was quite impressive and hilarious, especially considering how seamless the scenery changes were. Nowadays, you know they would have used CGI to do it or something like that, but the actual precision with which they did it for this movie just leaves me astounded. But then the movie quickly follows that up with the arrival of Sherlock Jr. Now before he arrives, we see the two villains trying to plot his demise, using either a chair with an axe just waiting to fall, <coughs> or an exploding billiards ball. Now, of course, uh, once he gets there, the great detective never quite sits on the chair, and he observes the, the two villains from a mirror as they try to signal to each other about the billiards ball. And then we are treated to a bunch of trick shots to keep missing the exploding ball, with the two villains hilariously running out of the room. Just fun stuff right there. And I could easily get into the final chase sequence with Buster on a motorcycle. Well, it really needs to be seen to be believed. And there are easily a number of other moments, both small and large, that were memorable for me here. For me, this is easily one of Buster's best movies, and one I have no trouble whatsoever recommending. Now, this movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Cohen Media Group with The Navigator as part of the Buster Keaton Collection, Volume 2. My own opinion is that the movie looks fantastic for the re this release. I'll admit it's the only way I've seen it so far, but for my money, this release is definitely worth it. Well, I think that's all I have to say on this one, everybody. So, thanks for listening, and I hope you'll keep tuning in for more.